Hey Gifted Crafters, welcome back to my channel. On today's session, I'm going to compare the Addy 46 pin needle machine with the Centro 48 pin needle machine. So let's get started. Now, if you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Nancy with Gifts HQ, and I host weekly live sessions, and we call it Saturday Crafternoon, where we talk about everything crafty. So if you can join us, we host it on noon Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification, and join us for our live sessions on Saturday. I would love to have you. Okay, so for our project today, we are gonna compare the two machines. And if you follow me along, you know that I purchased the Centro machine, and then I later received a gift, and it was the Addy machine. So there are a lot of similarities and differences between the two machines. And I wanted to just express my opinions on those. Now, these are strictly my opinions. So they're just my humble opinions. I hope you guys really enjoy this. And I hope this helps you to make the decision on the purchase that you would like to make based on some of the information that I'm going to share with you today. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to start with the Centro machine. So I'm going to just put my Addy machine off to the side just a little bit and I'll bring the Centro over. So for the Centro machine, you can see that we have 48 pins and there is one white pin on the top and it has the handle. And I really like the handle because the handle has a little nook so it really helps you grasp it very well. So for those of you with arthritis or difficulty holding things with your hands, this one does have a nice ease to it in order to crank it and you can really grasp it well. So I would have to give a plus to the Centro for this. Now, the other item that you would note on the machine is you have the tubular and the panel setting. So both machines do, does have a switch this one is pretty easy to just turn it on and off depending on what project you are making. It also has a tension guide. So for the tension guide, you know, on the Centro, it's over on the bottom. On the Addy, it's in a different position. And I'll go over that soon. And then the Centro also has a counter. And for the counter, it works pretty well, and I haven't had any issues with it, but there seems to be some people that have had issues. I've seen in the reviews that people say that the counter after some time does go bad. So that was a little bit of a concern for me, but so far I've had the machine for a couple months now, and I haven't had any issues with it. So what does this machine come with? One of the things that came with the machine they do give you four schemes of yarn that come with this machine. So what I like about that is it kind of gives you a little bit of yarn to start off with. So you can start your project right off the bat, which is absolutely great. So that's really nice. That was a big plus for that. The machine also came with three tapestry needles and it's three different sizes. So I did like that. It had three different sizes because it was nice that you have that choice. Sometimes it does make it a little bit easier to use a larger pin versus the smaller one. I tend to use this medium size pin the most because I think that's the one that really helps me out the most. Unfortunately, it does not have a bent tip. They are just straight pins or straight tapestry needles, sorry. <laughs> but I tend to use the middle one the most. And I'm gonna try to get you a clearer picture. I'll just kind of use my notebook here so you could see the pins better. So these are the three that they come with. I really love this really long one. I like that one a lot as well. Okay. The other thing that comes with the Centro machine is a crochet hook, which was great. That was a big plus. I wasn't expecting to get a crochet hook from the machine. So that was nice that it did come with that. Other than that, the other things that came with the machine are the suction cups. So if I turn the machine upside down, 
The machine does have suction cups that you can put onto the legs. Now the legs came, you know, off. You have to assemble the legs, but they're very simple. You just pull them into each of the slots and then they have tiny little screws that you screw onto it. So I think that actually works out well and that that's easily, you know, you can easily put that on. So then you have the suction cups that you put on and these were a little difficult to get on. There's a little slot where you have to slide them in, but I did have a little bit of a hard time putting them in, but then once you put them in, you don't have to touch them ever again. So it's just kind of a one-time thing. Although the suction cups, while they do hold the machine down, there are some surfaces where it will not stay down. For instance, I have this mat on my table here and I can slide the machine around. It doesn't really stay. So one of the big downsides about the Sencho is that it doesn't have a way to clamp it down where the Addy machine does. And I'll show you that when I show you the Addy machines items that came with it. But definitely Sencho has a good starting package because it does give you the yarns. It gives you the crochet hooks, the three different needles. So it's a great little starter package right out of the box. You can start making something and you don't have to go out and buy the yarn right away. I mean, it's not like a big project that you'll be able to do because the schemes that they give you are quite small, but it's something that you can use just to practice. And this actually ended up being great waste yarn for me. OK, so let's take a look at the Addy machine now. So I'm going to push this off to the side. Okay, so for the Addy machine, right off the bat, you see that the legs are completely different. Now the legs are screwed in. I mean, you just have to screw them in. It was very, very simple to get them in. No screwdrivers or anything needed. You just have to twist them in and they fall into place. They have on the bottom, kind of little stoppers to help it from moving around, which is nice. One of the things that it has is on the handle, the handle is round, which is kind of odd in a way. And it did take me a little bit of time to get used to it. Now, I'm not sure if it was because I was already used to the central having that little nook to be able to crank. With the Addy, you have to kind of use your whole palm of your hand to grasp it. So it's a little bit different. So you have to kind of just grab it this way and then crank where the central was a little bit easier. However, you know, after some time, I did kind of get used to it. So it really didn't make too much of a difference. But for those of you who have issues with your hands, you kind of have to see which one will work better for you. So just grasping this, I find a little bit more difficult and it was a little easier on the central machine. So the Addy machine is very similar. Again, this one is only 46 pins where the central machine is 48 pins. So it also has the attention gauge on here. It is located on the top of the machine and it has a little casing that you close. And then the counter is here off to the side as well. Now you just have to turn it when you want to change your, so you can hear that little clicking sound. That's how you change your counter where the central, you just kind of hit a button and it resets to zero. This one, you have to actually turn it to get to zero. So not a big deal. It's just a difference of how you reset your counter. Now it also on the Addy machine, you do have the two settings for tubular and panel. On the Addy machine, it's called circular knitting, which would be the tubular. And then the panel, they just call it plain knitting. So it's really the same. It's just the switch that you flip on and off. So not too much of a difference there. Now, the actual machines, when I put them side by side with each other. Now, I know for you guys, it'll be a little difficult to see, but 
let me just adjust it here. Now you probably won't be able to see it from here, but the Addy machine is a little bit shorter, not by much, I would say about an inch shorter from the table. The Centro is a little bit higher, so you do get a little bit of that height. Not very much though, it's only about an inch, so it doesn't really make too much a difference. But if for someone, depending on you know where you're placing it and what table you're in, you know this one does show that it is a little bit higher where this one is a little lower. So it may make it a little bit easier for you to actually crank and get your projects done. Okay, so some of the other things that came with the Addy machine, and this is kind of where I get really excited. So the Addy machine comes with clamps and these help to clamp the machine down to the table. The Centro machine does not come with the clamps. They just give you the suction cups. And what I found is as you make your projects and you're cranking away at the machine, if you have the Addy machine and you have the clamps on the machine and it's clamped down to a table, that machine is never going to move and you can completely finish the project with the one hand just cranking away. Really, really awesome. Absolutely love that. However, for the central machine, I found that because it did not have clamps, the central machine required one hand of me holding one of the legs down and then the other hand was cranking away at the machine. So not you don't have to hold it the entire time, but it seems like it would every once in a while I'd have to grab the leg back hold it back down to keep cranking. So it was a little bit of a downside on that machine because of that. That's one thing that you'll want to consider. And I think that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people fall towards the Addy machine, because when you're doing these projects, sometimes it's like hundreds of rounds that you're doing, especially if you're doing a really long blanket, you're cranking away at that machine and you don't want to have to keep holding onto the leg while you're cranking it. So it does make a big difference if you're doing really large projects. But I can tell you that the Addy machine, once I clamped it down, I really had no issues and I really would just crank away with just one hand and it really didn't even move. And I have used it as well without the clamps and it really worked pretty well. I didn't have to hold down the legs at all, even just without putting the clamp. I think it's just more stable it doesn't move around as much and then for the central because of the suction cups and the way the legs are made it seemed a little bit more unstable so it kind of kept you know moving around as i was trying to crank so that's the kind of thing that was a little bit of a downfall for the central but it was a huge huge plus for this addy machine Okay, other things that came with the Addy were again, it did give you pins. And the Addy machine gave you six pins. So more pins than the Centro. It does have one black pin and four white pins. Another thing that the Addy machine came with was a tapestry needle. Now it just came with the one needle and it does have a bent tip, which is really great. Makes it a lot easier to pick up your stitches when you're casting off if you're not using waste yarn. So that was a big plus, but unfortunately they did only give you one. So if you lose it, you know, you'll have to go into your stash or purchase a tapestry needle. But I did find that it was good enough. It's a decent size and I think that works well with the machine. Now, one big plus. Now, the Addy did not come with any yarn. However, it did come with two stoppers. And these stoppers, let me show you that on this overhead here. These stoppers can be used on your project. And that's something that the Centro did not come with. However, the Centro did come with some yarn. So it was kind of a trade-off between the two. I actually like that I got the stoppers 
because the yarn that they give you for the central machine, it's very little. I mean, I again, I use it as waste yarn. So it's kind of a trade-off, you know, if you're interested in getting more yarn, you know, then you would get the Centro. If not, you can get the Addy and you get the stoppers. I think the stoppers to me, at least for my projects, are a little bit more useful. So I do like the stoppers better. So that's everything that comes with both machines. So the you can see the different packages that the way they package these two machines and you can figure out which one is best for you. But let's talk about the actual machine and how it works. So in looking at the Addy machine, when you start your cast on process, the cast on process, if you're not familiar, this is the beginning step of your project and it's how you're applying the yarn and adding it into the machine. And it's a weaving type of process where you weave in and out of the pins. When you're doing that process, you do need to take the yarn and I'll just turn this around for just a minute. Just make sure you can see that here. When you are doing that process, I can tell you that Having the tension gauge up on the top is a little bit cumbersome because it kind of gets in the way when you're trying to put the yarn into the needle. But after some time, you do get used to the tension gauge being on the top and it, it almost didn't even bother me anymore. In the beginning, it was a little bit difficult because of where this is located and it was hard for me to kind of put the yarn through. But again, it's just the way I do it. I'm left handed, so I am putting the yarn here and it just made it a little harder for me to do that. So that's just my opinion on there where on the Centro machine doesn't have that issue. Let me just move this over to the side. Actually, I'm going to flip this over here. So for the Centro machine, the counter is off to the side. You have your tension down here on the bottom, so it is out of the way. And then on the top, you have your tension guide. So let me just grab my other camera so that I can adjust it and you can see things a little bit more closely. So here you see where the tension guide is. It is on the top of the machine. And you can see that it's a little bit more narrow here on the top. So when you are doing the cast on process, it just makes it a little bit easier to be able to cast on so because it is narrow and it allows your hands to flow freely on the top and be able to put the yarn through that weaving process. So I just think that was really a plus for the central machine because it just really helps me do it a little bit quicker. So on the central machine, you'll see that we have, let me just adjust this again here. You can see here that we have the white pin and then you have all of the other pink pins that follow. So this would be pin number one on the machine. And so it's easily identified for you to be able to know where your starting point is. Now the counter, like I said, let me see if I can angle that on here. So this is the counter and this is the button that you would press in order for it to reset. So on the central, it makes it very, very easy. And then if you're looking at the tension, it has three choices, right? So you have the one that's the furthest outside of the machine. That's the loosest one you can put it on. You have your medium one, which is in the middle. That's the one that I tend to use the most. And then you have the one that's the closest to the machine, which is the tightest. And this kind of just moves up and down. So if yarn gets caught up, sometimes you'll hear it or you'll see it move up and you can fix your yarn if you have any issues or knots or anything like that that is causing the tension to move. So that's how it looks on the central machine. So let's now take a look at the Addy. So I want to kind of compare those same three things. And let me just get the camera. 
for you on that as well. Let's start with the counter. Now for the counter, again, on the central machine, we had a little button on the top. This one just has a little knob where you would turn. And I'm trying to see if I can get it both on the angle for you. So this is what you would just turn to reset it. So a little bit different. And then for the tension gauge here, it has a little case. So on the casing, you open and close the casing, you insert the yarn through here, and here's the little tension gauge that you would put the yarn through. So there's only one option for the tension, where on the central you have three options. And then once you have the yarn inserted, you close that up, and then you can crank. Now you'll notice on the Addy machine, we have all white pins, and then you have three black pins. And you can kind of hear the difference here. So the Addy machine is a little bit more, uh, has more noise when you are cranking away. I think the central was a little quieter, but not too much. It's not extremely loud. But when you come to the end of your round, the Addy machine, because it has three pins, instead of just one pin, it's noticeable. Like you can hear when you came to that round, which is kind of nice because you'll know, oh, I just finished another round. So you can just tell just by listening to it. And let me just see if I can crank a couple here so you could hear it. Okay, so let's crank away. If you heard those three click, that was just finishing another round. And I'll do it one more time. Here it comes. Okay, so you hear that clicking sound when it's finished around. So that's a great plus because you can tell that you have now finished. So I think that was pretty neat. So, you know, both machines, I think, are really great machines. I think the two of them will do wonderful projects. But let's take a look at the projects themselves. So I'm going to kind of move these over to the side. And I want to bring out some projects that I've made on both machines. So you could see the differences for yourself. So here are some projects that I've made. And I've kind of wrapped them so I know which one was with the Addy and which one was with the Central. So let's first start off with a project that I've made, and this is just a beanie. And let's just make sure you guys can see everything. So I'm actually going to set this to the side, just so I have some space here. Okay, I think that works a little better. And I'll set this one to the side as well. Wonderful. Okay, so this is one that I made with the Addy machine. And this is one that I made with the central machine. Now they are both done with the same exact yarn on the same exact weight. So I wanted to give you guys a really good comparison with the same material of the same project on both machines. So let's take a look at the Addy. And the yarn that I used for this was Yarn Lane Facets. And it's a medium weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic and it's a number four weight. Okay. Now, here's the Addy. And the stitching, I think, came out really good. Let me just give you a close up of it. I actually like the way it came out. The stitching is great. I didn't have any issues whatsoever when I was doing this project on the machine. And I was able to cinch it shut. And if you're interested in knowing how I made this beanie, you can check out one of my videos. I did create a video with a step-by-step -step process on how to make these beanie hats. I think they were a lot of fun. And especially with the winter months coming up, these are great addition and can be wonderful gifts for your family and friends up north. 
So one thing that I liked about it was the ease of being able to do the project on the machine. I did have no issues with that. The stitching did come out great. And, you know, I was pretty happy with this project. So on the central machine, again, I used the same exact yarn, medium for same color, everything exactly the same, came from the same scheme. And I didn't have any issues on the Addy either. It's the same beanie. Now, there are differences between the two. And I don't know if you can see that right off the bat. So the Addy machine has 46 pins. The Centro machine has 48 pins. So if you can see right off the bat, you can see that the Addy is a little bit more narrower than the Centro. So the hats, both of them were done working wise. I had no issues with it. You know, it, it didn't bother me at all in terms of how I worked it on the machine. I think both machines are great. You just have to note that because the Addy has 46 pins, things are going to be a little bit more narrower than they will be on the Centro because Centro has 48 pins. So not too much of a difference. You can barely see the difference between the two. I think that really for a lot of projects, it really doesn't matter. It's not much of a difference. If you're really super picky about it, then and you want something to be a little bit more smaller, then you would go with the Addy. Otherwise, both projects came out really fine. And I did the exact same number of rows on both projects. So you can see, you know, there's just really not too much of a difference at all on here. And both working on the central and the Addy, you know, the stitching, no issues at all. Really loved it. And this was a fun yarn to work with. I really love this yarn and I love the colors on it. So this is, again, a great gift for family and friends. So that's the comparison of the ones with the exact same yarn. So I'm going to show you a couple of other examples that I have. So here's a hat that I made on the Centro machine. And this is just a Santa hat. And I added a little pom-pom to it. And this yarn, it was a different yarn. It's this a Red Heart yarn that I used. It's 100% acrylic as well. It's not as soft as the previous project, but it's just a little Santa hat that we could use for the holidays. I thought this was a fun addition to make. And then I did a beanie on the Addy. This is a little bit softer yarn. This is by Heartland. And it's just for some family up north that, you know, it's really cold over there so they could use the hat. So I definitely wanted to make some gifts for them and send those up north. And I had her test it out for me since it is so cold over there. And she did say that her head was very warm because of the knitted hat. So I was really happy to hear that the yarn that I was using was good for that project. And so she was happy with it. So I decided to just make her a couple more for her request. <laughs> now, some of the other ones that are other projects that you can make other than hats, you know, you can make all kinds of other things on these machines. You can make scarves, you can make socks. I mean, it, it just all depends what you want to make. This is an infinity scarf that I made and this one was made on the Addy machine and I do have a video on that if you're interested in knowing how to make the infinity scarf. So this is a fun project and it doesn't take too long and actually is really nice. Again another gift that you can give for family and friends. And then on the Centro I did make this one. It is also yarn lane both of them are yarn lane on these two. And this one is just a scarf. I did not do it as an infinity scarf, although you still can. All I would have to do is, you know, cinch the two ends together. But I thought this was a really fun color and I liked the quality of it. it was really good. You know, I had no issues on the actual machine when I was doing this project. You know, the stitching. I didn't have so many drop stitches or any of that, or any of those issues with this weight yarn. Now, I can tell you for other weights of yarn, I tend to use the number four 
for these knitting machines. I think that works really well with both machines, but I can tell you I tried the number five weighted yarn and the Addy machine, I was able to, you know, do stuff with it, but the central machine had issues. And I think the issue between the two machines is because the Addy machine, the gears are have a better quality to it. The gears are made much better. It's more professional. So I think the gears themselves will last longer. You know, I think it's just a well-made machine where the central machine is a very good machine. But if you're looking to really crank out a ton of projects with these knitting machines, or maybe you are selling these, you may want to invest in the Addy machine because it's a much more professionally made machine that has better gears. But the central machine, if you're just wanting it to make gifts and you know, you're know you not going to be cranking out hundreds and hundreds of projects on it, I think the central is completely fine. You know, but then again, you know, you have other things that you can look at. So definitely, you know, do your comparison, do your research, check out which one works for you, and then you can make that decision. So let me just check if there's anything else that I missed. We talked about the pins, the number of pins that we have. We talked about the projects themselves and the width of the projects, the differences because of the number of pins the gears themselves within the machine and the sound you know it, some people may have a big a big issue with that you know i didn't have too much of issue the addy machine is relatively louder than the central and the cast on process that was a biggie for me you know being able to weave in and out but i think it's just a matter of you getting used to where things are on the machine and being able to cast on correctly the handles that may be a big deal if you have someone who has arthritis or issues with grasping things with your hands so you may want to take a look at that we looked at the counter and i did warn you some people did complain that the counters were not that great on the central machine and they, they did go bad after some time. I myself haven't had any issues with it and I think both of them were completely fine. Now, working with different yarns, of course, the Addy worked a little bit better with number five yarn where the central struggled quite a bit because I think the gears are made better on the Addy than they are on the central. Now we talked about the height so the height of from the table to the machine the addy machine is lower the central machine is a lot higher just one inch not a ton it's not that big of a difference but it gives you about an inch more off of the table in terms of height and then we talked about all of the things that were included in the machine when i purchased it so there are differences both machines do beautiful work and you can have a lot of fun with the machines. So definitely, you know, if you had to make a choice, and I'll bring this one right back up here. Okay, so if you're looking to make that choice, I think that when you're looking to make the choice on which machine to buy, it really just comes down to a matter of preference. You know, there's just so many things that you can make with these projects, and both machines do beautiful work but you have to decide what things are important to you to make that decision. So that's it, folks. I hope you really enjoyed this session. If you liked the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And don't forget, we have live weekly sessions. It's our Saturday Crafternoons where we talk about everything crafty. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I hope to be crafting with you soon. Bye.